Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. If you watched a couple of my videos or you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, I am inspired by this great setting powder I just purchased. It is by Black Radiance. I love their powders. I love their pressing powders. And this is a new one I think they came out with. And it's called Banana. It's more of a yellow tint. And I was inspired by this because I did some makeup over the weekend and I did not like the flashback that the camera gave after putting pressing powder and setting powder under her eyes. So I went out searching for something that would be better for my skin tone, better for a darker skin tone and just something new in general because I shine like crazy. Um, so I found this and what I love about it too is that it says on the label, on the back of the label, and if you see it in the store where I purchased it from, it says it minimizes photo flashback. So that is a plus. And it says it sets makeup for all day wear. And I have a wedding coming up. So I'm hoping that this guides me through and helps me with what I am looking for. So I'm going to work on a full face. I'm so inspired by Christmas right now. And I love the fairy colors, and which are the reds and more of a plum color. And I kind of like a little bit of the blue too. Kind of like the blue you see in my earrings and my shirt right now. So I'm gonna try to do something really glamorous with that, and I hope y'all enjoy it. Now that my face is primed, I'm gonna push my hair back a little bit, and I'm gonna start working on my brows. A lot of people struggle with brows, so I hope what I do kind of helps guide you through. My main focus is that you have to start with arched brows. You have to go get your brows groomed, ladies, and it will help guide you through having the perfect brow that you want. With a few tricks that I use with my pressing powder and my contouring cream, you will see all of those great things, so watch this closely.
Now here's a trick, I take my concealer and I press it in when I am cleaning up around my eyeshadow, I press it in a little bit closer to my eyebrows so I get that faded look and I don't have that deep line of demarcation where my eyebrows are and I have more here and here, but I have less here so I don't have like this straight crazy line. So press it in and then blend all of this around with your darker concealer because I've already put my foundation on. I'm gonna add a little bit of darker concealer to it blend in. And then I like to go in and add a little bit of my, I think it's Black Radiance. Um, it's a mousse, matted mousse that they have. And I just like to use a brush, add a little bit on. It gives me a little bit more of a deep brown color so that I'm not glowing as much. I notice the difference when I don't do this. So try it sometimes and see what you get. Now this is where I'm going to try my banana press setting powder. We're going to see what this does. Oh, I like it. Here it goes. I like that it has this little thing in it, but I choose to use a brush. So I'm gonna use my brush. And you do have to peel this off, so give me a second, I'm gonna undo all of it. All right, struggle is real. I got my face and powder stuck, could get it open. So I'm just gonna use it like this. I am gonna let a little bit of it sit. I'm gonna use it here and here. And I sweat like crazy here. So hopefully it'll help control some of that. Voila. I'm going to finish my lashes. And I usually use a mascara to finish my lashes. And um, clean up around with some glow. Let's see what, what works. Okay, now that my setting powder is on, I am in love with Maybelline's Fit For Me colors i use the dark profound colors one of the darkest ones they have um there's one next to this level that's a little closer to i always go in once i let my setting powder sit on the one that i use by black radiance i always go in and put my um my tenant pressing powder on after that to blend everything in so let's do that right now and i'll just press it like this Do a little on the forehead, and then I start blending. I'm already liking the difference in the look and the outcome. Ooh, Black Radiance, I might be sold. I think I am sold. I just got some areas that I feel like has that ashy look that we do not like. My trick to my eyebrows, I always go back in with my pencil. Sometimes I use a gel when I want it to last longer. I mostly use my gel for my eyebrows in the summertime. Um, but when I know I put some powder on it, because I put a little bit of setting powder on that, that too, and pressing powder, I just go back in and line it a little bit more. Like that. So that they don't look ashy either. And you've already done the hard part, so don't make it difficult. Don't mess it up. Take your time. Blend it in a little bit. Don't go over your line that you already pressed out. Brush it in naturally. Because my hairs on my eyebrows are already pretty thick. And then I like to go in with my highlighter. I use the highlighter by, by Black Radiance too. It's their um, baked bronzer. It's 3515. The number is 3515. It's gorgeous. I also like their highlighter that they have in their triple palette. It's like medium dark, light dark, something like that. I like that too. Now another trick I do around my nose to make sure that I get the blend of my eyeshadows like right in here together is I use my contour palette and I just add the brown right in there just to make sure it cleans up the eyeshadow or any leftover um, concealer that you can see and that it blends all the powders and creams around my nose because some people's powders and creams get stuck in their nose right there. If you ever see mine stuck right there, that means I skipped this step. So go back, use my flat brush my highlighting brush and I'm gonna highlight. I always highlight my cheeks before I put my contouring powder on. It kind of tones it down. 
just in case I put a little bit too much highlighter because I get excited with this stuff. It's so shiny. <laughs> so I love to use it, y'all. I love to use it. So I go in with a different brush and I still use, like I am in love with this contouring palette by um, Ruby Kisses. You can get it at your local beauty supply stores. I'm in love with it. If somebody has something better, send it to me. But these colors have worked for even the lightest, like even my Caucasian women, all the way up to my most chocolate African-American women. I love it, you should try it. When I contour my cheeks, I use this. When I contour my nose, I use this color. And I go in with these for other colors. And I used to use this up under here, but I didn't like that. So I'm loving this banana by Black Radiance. I'm really, really loving it. So I go in and I contour my cheeks. I got some healthy cheeks. Some really healthy cheeks, y'all. Cause girl, eat good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use a little bit of blush. Believe it or not, it's not really blush. I actually use the eyeshadow that I use from my Juvia's Place palette and I use that as my blush because I like for my blush to kind of blend in with my shadows. So here's the thing. A lot of people think that I'm always cleaning up and editing my photos so it look like nice and smooth. You can't edit a video. So look at this. Look at how nice and smooth and soft all of my powders are. Even with my bumps and breakouts and stuff. I don't have to always edit my pictures. I just don't. So that's why I try to make videos to prove to y'all that this is the look I get that I post. Like this is the look. I get this look. It's all in how I use it. I want to share what I do, my tricks and my trades. I don't know it all. I watch videos too like y'all do. But I do know some secrets because Paul Mitch taught me quite a bit. Um, so try it. Try this stuff. I hope y'all like it. I'm going to put on my lashes now and show y'all my full look. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. I super, super, super am in love already with Black Radiance Banana Setting Powder. Y'all go try it. Pick it up. It was only like $7. So go try it. Pick it up and tell me what you think. I'm going to do my lip. I'm going to do my lashes and show you my full look. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like Hit that like button, subscribe if you like it, make a comment, you know, just leave me something down there at the bottom and let me know you enjoy this holiday glam. Look, I love doing this y'all and I hope that you love learning something and you get something out of my little tips that I try and I play with every day. So again, thank you for watching. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I post more than I do on videos, so follow me, follow me, follow me.